Now we know how we can use the use effect as a component mount also as a component unmount. Let's try to check what if I only want to have the use effect on the update part. So just like you can use more than one use state, you can also use more than one use effect. So I can say app updated because this is actually updating. So that's why I'm showing you on the app. And let's try this one. And for now, if I go here, refresh this page, first re-rendered, every JSX is rendered. So that's why we have this log. After that, app mounted and and because it is same as the app mounted use effect we also have the app updated but this should be only log when we have some update on the app just like here and you can see although it is not doing any update on logging of update on the console this is because of this angle brackets remember when we use the angle brackets, empty angle brackets, that means we are using use effect as a mount only. Now I remove it. Let's try once again. So yeah, one problem still we have that on the mount we are logging the update. But whenever there is an update, that also we are having the update part. Now to actually use use effect just for the update we have more power than the class based component in the class based component we just have one function and then whenever anything changes then we have a log but here we have a simple power that we can actually define that updating for which state because only the component updates when there is some changes in the state so we have we are changing the is showing state so remember we have this angle brackets and in in this angle bracket if i can define that is showing if the value of is showing is changing then only log this app updated let's go refresh this page and still we have the app updated when i change something app updated that's still we are having the same result no effect what if i use the title here and we know title is not going to change never so let's refresh once it is updated on the mounting still we have a problem click on toggle image and now you can see because title is not updating that's why we are not having app update but why we have the app update once the component mounted because remember initially we are defining some value so when we are defining some value that means we are setting the value of the state which is having title so that's why we are having this first log on the mount part so let's try and make this uh, is showing as null initially and try to check what happened here refresh and still we have mounted that's a very big problem we have and we only want to log this when really is showing updates so one hack we can do we initially have the value null so we can check if is showing is not equal to null then only i'm going to log this one now let's try so initially we don't have any app updated if i toggle we have app updated and that's we have achieved and this is very very nice thing but this is actually not a good practice to have it so let's try use the use effect as only for update 